I think EDOF is a, like another option that we have for our patients to better treat their demands on pre opioid correction. There are several ways available how you can treat them depending on the optical design of the lens, giving even more options to treat patients individually. Well, the benefit about a trifocal is that uh, you have a, like distinct focal points in distinct distances. Uh, there are several trifocal IOLs available on the market that have different intermediate ad powers, so you can really choose on the patient's demand which intermediate focus they really need. If it's in 60 centimeters with a pan optics or in 80 centimeters with an RT laser, you can choose if you want an apodization to reduce this photopic phenomena at night time. Um, or if you want to give the patient, like with an Artelisa, the possibility even to read under dim light uh, conditions because you have a peripheral bifocal optic. So everything that needs to be done in like a binocular near, like building models, and having the option to work in intermediate range, a trifocal uh, binocularly is a really good or perfect option. Well, there are several optics available for EDF IOLs. For example, you have like a true EDOF, like the IC8. The lens also corrects, uh, works in like a little bit of irregularities, it corrects a little bit for astigmatism. It's not that depending on the target refraction. So it's a good option in like patients where you have difficulties with it through uh, dry eye or some irregularities. And you can max, uh, mix and match it, for example, with like a refractive EDOF IOL in the fellow eye. So they also have like an enhanced depth of focus. You have like a CV mini well that have, works with apparition that gives you a very smooth defocus curve, but you need to max, uh, mix and match it with uh, the corneal asphericity. So basically it works together. You can work with diffractive EDOFs like the Artillara or the Symphony, giving you somehow distinct focal points in shorter distances, which reduces halo and glare and gives you a wide range of focus. The apparition neutral design of the Artilara stretches out that focal point as well, so it kind of has an intermediate overlap, giving you continuous vision for intermediate. But all of those models have a uh, little bit the problem that the near is not that sufficient. But you can enhance near by targeting a like micro mono vision or nano vision, or making a mix and match with like an EDOF IOL in one eye and a trifocal in the other eye, with having less halo and glare, but still giving a good overall vision. Oh, on the one hand, the biggest part is the counseling before. So you need to ask them the right questions and you need to give the patient the possibility to actually show you the distances they work in and the things they like doing. Um, what we also do is we use the Salzburg reading desk to measure distances that they usually use for a computer skewing, that they usually use for reading to find out which IOL is like the most suitable for them or which combinations work uh, best. And currently we're just planning to start a study with Vivior to give them glasses that measures the distance, the angulation and the light conditions that they can wear before the counseling process and taking their individual habits into account even more precisely to find the right IOL model. Well, we're continuously looking at our own results and I think it is very important because the one thing that is important for patients, especially praised by opiate patients because they're slightly younger, is stability and stability you can only show in long-term outcomes. So that is something we're looking at now. We are starting to look a little bit closer into the pre-op evaluation of those cases and we want to go deeper and closer into more aspects like corneal spherical apparition, uh, coma, to see if maybe we also find better ways to offer an individual care for our patients and give them the most suitable outcome.